Hello everyone and welcome to CPC's online devotional for Tuesday, September 1. So, here we are, first day of September. I guess that means that summer is over and fall is here. And yes, I know that technically the first day of fall this year is not until September 22. But to me, psychologically and emotionally at least, the end of summer comes at the end of August, and fall starts with the first day of September. Right or wrong, at any rate, I've been thinking about the coming of fall, autumn, and today I'd like to share a short reflection on that that was written by Terry Lima. Terry is a pastor who lives in Idaho, and here are her thoughts. I am one of those who find autumn a season of delights. I love the vivid colors and the aromas of the leaves fallen from the trees. I love the crisp air, the cooler temperatures, wearing sweatshirts and early sunsets. I know winter is around the corner and with it cold weather and snow. Still, I love autumn for what it is this day. Whenever I bring up my love of autumn, someone will remind me that autumn signals winter is ahead. They don't like winter. And some have a good reason not to like winter. They experience seasonal affective disorder without enough light. Some have a difficult time keeping sidewalks and driveways shoveled. And let's face it, it gets cold up here in Idaho in winter. Zero or below zero temperatures are not very appealing. Still, that's not a good enough reason for me to hate autumn. I want to live each day in this season's delights. It's harvest time and a time to remember to give thanks. In Matthew 6, 34, <clears throat> Jesus said, do not worry about tomorrow, for tomorrow will worry about itself. Today, I will delight in autumn and not borrow winter's troubles. Today, I will delight in this day that is mine, whatever it might hold, and not borrow from tomorrow's troubles. Today, I will simply enjoy today. <clears throat> Would that we could all just enjoy each day for the day that it is. And the gifts, the challenges, the experiences, all that happens. To live that in the fullness of God's love that surrounds us and fills us day by day. Whatever season of the year it is. I want to close today's devotional with a prayer for autumn days. A prayer written by Joyce Rupp. Joyce is a Catholic uh, author and speaker and nun. And this is her prayer, a prayer for autumn days. Please join me in prayer. God of the seasons, there is a time for everything. There is a time for dying and a time for rising. We need courage to enter into the transformation process. God of autumn, the trees are saying goodbye to their green, letting go of what has been. We too have our moments of surrender with all their insecurity and risk. Help us to let go when we need to do so. God of fallen leaves lying in colored patterns on the ground, our lives have their own patterns and we see the patterns of our own growth. May we learn from them. God of misty days and harvest moon nights, there is always the dimension of mystery and wonder in our lives. We always need to recognize your power-filled presence. May we gain strength from this. God of harvest wagons and fields of ripened grain, many gifts of growth lie within the season of our surrender. We must wait for harvest in faith and hope. Grant us patience when we do not see the blessings. God of geese going south for another season, your wisdom enables us to know what needs to be left behind and what needs to be carried into the future. We yearn for insight and vision. 
God of flowers touched with frost and windows wearing white designs, may your love keep our hearts from growing cold in the empty seasons. God of life, you believe in us, you enrich us, you entrust us with the freedom to choose life. For all this, we are grateful. Amen. Thanks to each of you and all of you for sharing this time with me online today. I uh, hope that the rest of your week goes well, and I look forward to being online with you again for our online devotional this coming Thursday. Until then, God's blessings to each of you. Goodbye.